a lot of children were coming as refugees from from war-torn countries in the Middle East. You know, there were wars in Iraq at the time and Afghanistan, and and there were you know there was an uprising in some of the Middle Eastern countries, and those people were were leaving and they were coming ending up at our school. And what was interesting was they'd been through these really harrowing uh, situations. And I won't, you know, I don't want to dampen the day, but some of them were horrendously bad. Like you can't even believe how bad they were. You know, there were families whose boat had sank on the way from Indonesia to Australia and dad was holding on to all the kids, but couldn't hold them all and had to let go of one and then watch them, you know, just absolutely terrifying stories. And I would be heartbroken about that. And then I would see this racism around the world about refugees and this you know, don't let them into our country and they're taking away our jobs and, you know, all this stuff. And I thought, if only we actually knew what they were going through or what they'd been through, maybe we'd actually say, you know what, goodness me, let's have some humanity here. Like, that's horrendous. You're a child. You're my child. You're everyone's child. So I started listening to their stories and they were actually finding this kind of refuge in telling the stories to the class. And we were all in the same boat. You know, we'd all had troubles. We'd all come from different situations where we'd have problems and some were worse than others, obviously. But what I realized was we all had something to learn from each other. I have no idea what these kids have been through. I don't know about Iran or Iraq or Syria or Libya or Lebanon. I just don't know. I've not been there. You tell me. So they would they would then become the teacher. And we'd all sit there in awe, me and all the other students going, oh my goodness, I didn't know that. I didn't know that's the plank you had to go through to get here. And it was amazing. They found this amazing, um, this sense of, you know, liberation that could suddenly, they were free to tell their story. And then I took it on myself to tell those stories, pay them forward and say, you know what, I'm going to make sure other people hear about that. And so whenever I heard someone saying, oh, you know, what about refugees coming to this country? I'd say, let me just tell you a little story about a little boy I know. And they'd say, oh, you know, I didn't realize. I didn't realize it was like that. And it would change their perspective.